morning everyone and welcome to my channel it's another gorgeous day uh, in Devon sun is shining and this morning there's not so much in the way of cars around so uh, everybody must have gone home after the bank holiday weekend which makes you wonder what their objectives were because if most people still aren't in work <laughs> did they come down for the bank holiday to all over the place I don't know but I'm wondering Right, so I'm here with um, Tristan. I had an idea this morning. I was thinking that I could, I or I would, come on every day for two of my babies and work my way through my collection. Wouldn't that be nice? So I thought, I nearly started with Narnia uh, because I just changed her and she was still on the bed. Um, and she was laying there on this, looking all lovely with a little t-shirt and shorts on and a little bunny rabbit. Um, and I thought, oh, I could start with Narnia. She's all placed there, looking lovely. And then I thought, no, she was on yesterday. So I'll give you a break from Narnia. <laughs> and bring Tristan on as well. Instead, even. So, um, Tristan, as anybody knows, is my little main man. He is uh, my absolute favourite out of my collection. I don't know what it is, this chunky little guy, but I just love him to bits. I just love his little face. Um, his chunky uh, build, you know, his arms and legs, his feet, everything. Um, but I just think he's got the most gorgeous fat face. And he's absolutely lovely. Uh, most of the time you'll see him in a hat, because I love him in hats. But he does have hair. Um, <laughs> if you look through my videos, you'll see him once or twice with his hair showing. Uh, and when it's out, it actually looks quite nice. But I, I just like him in hats. So um, today he's wearing a, a Disney outfit. He's wearing Mickey Mouse. Um, this little hat with the ears on I got from H&M and I thought was quite appropriate. Uh, it's little teddy bear ears really, but it's a bit like Mickey Mouse, isn't it? And the colours are quite good. Um, oh, there's a siren. That's two this morning already. Um, I'll just wait till he goes past because they're so noisy. Oh, bless. Uh, and then... Uh, He's wearing. It throws you slightly, doesn't it? <laughs> when you get when you you know stopping your your train of thought. Yes, yeah, so he's got his little hat on from H and M. It's a very dark blue, like a very dark Air Force blue, um, but it looks nice with this outfit. So we'll go with that. I thought, being he hasn't got one similar in navy. And then he's wearing a Disney store, um, Disney at BHS, British Home Stores, um, Mickey Mouse top. Um, I really like this. I like the design on this. I like the um, the way they've done that stitching down the sides, on the front, around the bottom, around the uh, arm. They haven't done it on the... Well, it's a little bit... Yeah, it's a little bit there. You could just about see it with the stripe. And then on his elbows, the elbow patch is the Mickey Mouse head. In the shape of Mickey Mouse head. And, of course, it's striped. And we match, almost, look. But, of course, it's striped, so... Uh, that's always good, love striped. And then he's wearing, he's always got his comforter with his name on that uh, my daughter Natalie bought for him. And she bought one for his sister as well, who's coming up next. And then he's wearing um, tracky bottoms that um, come from Auntie Sue, Mickey Mouse ones, it's on that leg. And they're, they're gonna go um, with all the tops that I got um, the top that came with him originally, which is gorgeous, a nice t-shirt. And then I bought four tops all together. I think it was a pack of three and this one in my last haul from Tiny Angels. So all those tops are going to go with these pants, which is going to be great. And then he's wearing navy socks from Next. And I can't remember where they come from now without turning them over. Um... <clears throat> Navy socks from Next. Next to the best little size baby socks. And they've got a little teddy bear on the ankle. So that uh, looks lovely. So in case you don't know, um, Tristan is um, Tristan Michael. And he is uh, um, the... Um, I can't get my words out. <laughs> He's the Land and Asleep by Bountiful Baby. So um, lots and lots and lots of these um, Landons before I, and I just loved them straight away. Um, I saw, I saw a few around and I thought, oh my goodness, he's going to be so difficult to paint. 
is going to be one of those sculpts that you've got to get it right or else it's going to be a complete mess up because of his features. And I thought, can I do it justice? And I left it and left it because I wasn't sure. If I'm, if I'm not sure about something, I always leave it until, until I am sure or else I change my mind. And I thought, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And then I was watching uh, Montenegro Babies and she had a landing. So it's going back a little while now. And I thought he was absolutely gorgeous. And I thought, oh, just look at him. And she had him in a onesie, I think it was, or a little romp or something like that, where you could see all his limbs. And I thought, I really have to get that baby. You know, I, I really do. Uh, maybe I just, uh, when I get him, I'll just paint him and just take my time painting him. And so I did. And I actually learned a new way of painting that I don't always manage to accomplish. Um, it seems to depend on so much. Sometimes I get it absolutely right and other times it's just okay. But I think that's the same with anything you make yourself, isn't it? Um, but I did have a little while where I just, um, I found just using really, really thin coats of paint and being really patient and really building it up and not concentrating too much on blushing, just adding a little bit later on, you know, as you go along, judge it for yourself. And it worked really well. Um, then I made um, <laughs> his sister in real life, which is the... Um, which is my Scarlet, which is the um, Lavender Asleep. Because um, um, these babies, bounce, these um, are real borns from Bountiful Baby. So they're made from 3D scans of real babies. So Tristan and Scarlet in real life are real brother and sister. So I thought I was quite fascinated with that. So then when I'd made um, Tristan, I keep wanting to say Landon, that's why I'm struggling. First of all, I couldn't get the name of the kit out, and now I keep wanting to say Landon. Um, when I made Tristan, then I knew I had to, and I got him right, and I was like, oh my God, I never painted another baby again, because that one is just right, and I'll never ever be able to do that again. I just thought, that's it now, my career is over. And then I got the Scarlet, um, got my Scarlet, and um, I thought, oh, I've got to match them up now, haven't I? at least to a certain degree, so they look, you know, because they're supposed to be brother and sister. Um, I thought they don't have to be perfectly alike, like twins in the painting, but they need to be similar to carry on, you know, them, make them look like siblings. So uh, she'll be up next and you'll see. Um, and um, they, they do just about, they, they look quite, uh, they look, they're quite fine. These two, the painting on these two, and my little one Grace, and who else is there maybe? Um, maybe Ava, my big girl. They're, they're about my favourites, I think, and a quick thought. Um, even though, like, a uh, little peanut is gorgeous and my other babies are gorgeous, um, when it comes to looking at it from a personal point of view, uh, having made all of them myself, except for my sleeping Noah, um, then it's my... Uh, these ones are my favourite painting. And for some reason, I can't always replicate it, and that frustrates the life out of me. So I don't know... <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, my paints are as old as the hills, so uh, that might have something to do with it. So anyway, so he's about 22 inches long. I was measuring him up against Narnia earlier, and she's supposed to be 22 inches, and I've not actually measured her with a measuring tape, but she still looked big even up against him. So she must be more like 23, because I know he's 22, because I measured him. I measured him and Noah to see what the difference was, and uh, my Noah is sort of pushing 21 inches because he, like 20 and a half because of the body he's got on and he was 22 so um, my Noah comes on the end of uh, newborn to small three months and I just buy straight forward three months for him or up to three months and it fits him fine or maybe have a little bit of room in but um, if it does come a bit small and I can just put it in the smaller boy's drawer so it doesn't bother but most of the time he's not to three or up to three months if it's somewhere like next and uh, that fits him absolutely fine. So, um, yeah, so he has like a prized place in my nursery. Um, at the moment, I've got Narnia in the living room and uh, he's in a bouncy chair in the craft room. But I can see those two getting swapped back and forth because even though I'm loving having Narnia in the living room because her big sister Ava is in there. Um, stop, Lex. She's sniffing this box with a door like if somebody's outside or something. Um, I miss having him in there, and I can't have him all in there. My goodness, he'd be like a nursery. So, 
Um, I think they may have to take it in turns over the time. Um, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Because at the same time, every time I go in the craft room, he's sat the chair there looking gorgeous and I can see him as well. So uh, uh, we'll see. It just gets like that, doesn't it? It's very strange. <laughs> so um, that's Tristan. And let's see which way I should go. I'll go on the other side of the tripod. So, um, how is everyone doing? I hope you're fine. Um, happy birthday for yesterday to Diana at the Hummingbird Nest. I'm not sure how it works out with the um, time differences. Because being in Devon in the UK. And um, I think I've heard Diana's in Georgia, somewhere like that. Which sounds uh, really exotic and foreign when you uh, live in the UK. So there we are. I'm warm. You always think of warm. You never think of America having winters, really. You see it on the telly uh, and uh, things. I still didn't wipe her face, did I? Oh, look. You're dusty. Dusty girl. Better be on you. So let's see what you can see. Oh, look. At her. You can see she's smaller. Um... So this is the lavender sleeve. This is my Scarlet Olivia. And um, she is about 19 inches. And uh, her and Tristan like, are really firm favourites, especially Tristan. Uh, you would not get these two off me if you wanted to give me a million pounds. I just would not part with them. Um, the same my Reva Schick family. I wouldn't part with my Reva Schick family either. If I had to downsize for some financial crisis... Or for something that came up and I really, really needed to cut my um, collection down. Um, then I would, would never ever part with uh, Scarlet, Tristan, um, Little Grace I'm Iffy on. That would take a lot for me to part with her. And my River Schick family. Oh, and my Noah, of course, because, because well, he's my River Schick family. Um, but because he was my special baby, wasn't he? But I definitely, you know, whatever crisis come along, however desperate it got, whatever way I needed room or something like that, and the babies had to go, there are certain ones that I just could not part with. There's a, the others would be hard to part with, but if it was necessarily and it was somewhere where, you know, you really needed to put your big girl's pants on and, uh, you know, be an adult about it and, and do something, um, then the others could I, I could part with but cry. <laughs> quite possibly cry but um the these these ones i couldn't so i really yeah i don't think i would part with uh, grace no grace these two and my reva Schick family would have to stay and then the other babies um they would be fine but uh not fine but you know what i mean i could deal with it uh like a grown-up with a box of tissues <laughs> But these are like the epicenter of my, um, um, you know, my collection. They are like um, the my all-time favourites uh, and everything. So they are, uh, you know, just uh, ones I really just could not part with. You know, it, there is a thing in the hobby, isn't there, that we never say that we'd never get rid of a baby. But, you know, sometimes uh, in your heart of hearts, you know that it, there are some that you would uh, never get rid of. And after parting with my mum's Angelica and then regretting it for the last seven years, um, then I, I, I know that, you know, if you if you really don't want to or you're not sure, don't do it because uh, you can't bring it back. <coughs> so that's these two. So, uh, and she's adorable. You can see, actually, that they're brother and sister, even though, obviously, like all siblings, there's differences. Um, you can see it around her mouth. And her little nose as much as anything. She's not as chunky as her brother. Um, so she hasn't got quite the uh, little squished up eyes sort of thing. You know where his face is so chubby? Um, and she looks more delicate. But then that's perfect, isn't it? How they turned out. Um, she's more delicate and girly. And he's more like a little bruiser. So there you go. So that's my uh, first two babies. So uh, there's my uh, collection part one. <laughs> I was thinking of a title then, I tried or trying to, and it wasn't happening. Um, so that's my collection part one. So have a good day, buddy. I'll bring two more on tomorrow. Um, otherwise, we'll be going like for twelve days, uh, and you know we'll do theme Thursday in between, obviously. But otherwise, we'll be going for twelve days. So I thought I'll do two a day, 
uh, otherwise it'll go on forever. So uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing them together and having a look at the scalps. Um, so have a good day. Take care, everyone. Bye for now. Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye.